Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do some more sampling, testing. I have my smelly jar full of samples here. So I just want to do some first impressions and hopefully maybe find something that's a love at first sniff. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to wing it. So let's choose one here. Okay, so the first fragrance is from the house of Adis de Venustas. And it's called Cierge de Lune. Adis de, de Venustas. Isn't that like a perfumery in New York? Maybe I'm thinking something else. <laughs> okay, so Cierge de Lune. I think de Lune means um, moon. And I have not tried this. I have no idea what's in it or notes or anything. So let's see here. What this one is. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. Wow. <laughs> so I'm picturing with this one a very silky, smooth, sweet leather scent. Like when I'm smelling this, I can almost feel my hand like touching some like, new leather handbag or something made out of suede or a really soft lambskin. Um, there's a little bit of a soft vanilla in here. Wow, this is really nice. <laughs> and um, there's also a beautiful sweetness in here. Soft, sweet, silky, luxurious, expensive, new luxury designer handbag. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. It is just so soft, you guys. Wow, this is really, really nice. I don't have a lot of leather scents in my collection. My go-to leather is my most favorite leather, is Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. Um, but I think that most people would say that that, you know, leans on the masculine side, typically masculine. Um, but with this leather, it's for me making me think of a very classy, elegant woman carrying her like Chanel bag. <laughs> and this is what she would smell like. Or she would be like carrying a travel size of this scent on her so she can uh, wear it while she's walking down the expensive shopping street, for example. <laughs> I was already thinking in Amsterdam, it's called Pese Hofstraat. And um, that's what I'm picturing someone wearing in shopping in uh, a very expensive store. So this is beautiful, you guys. I uh, will have to see how much this one costs, but my first impression is uh, this is a beautiful, smooth, suede leather scent and um i think that this is gorgeous there's a sweetness in here that makes it even better <laughs> and i like this a lot this might even be a love at first sniff for me so adis de venusta cierge de lune something the moon in french um i think so let me just uh pull up the notes I'll show you guys quickly what the bottle looks like here. It looks like that. Not a house that is like something I hear a lot about. It's an Eau de Parfum version. Okay, so 2016, this was released. Fabrice Pellegrin is the perfumer. And then we have the notes, powdery notes, musk in the top. And then middle notes are Madagascar vanilla, ylang ylang, uh, black and pink pepper and hedione and then the base notes are suede amber incense and musk so on the paper here it is stunning you guys honestly <laughs> this is gorgeous i really really like it so that's the first one now let's do another one here hopefully it's as good as that one because i was really surprised by that now let's choose this one here now we have a fragrance from the house of Bond number no. nine, and this is called Bleecker Street. 
So this one was like super popular like five years ago and then I stopped hearing about it completely. I guess it was just part of the hype thing. Uh, I have not smelled this in a very, very long time. I think I smelled it like once a long, 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 long time ago and I don't really remember anything about it. So let's see here what this one is. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more. That's unusual. That's surprising. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> So usually what I do when I smell something is if I'm testing it a lot of times it starts reminding me of something that I've smelled before because I've just smelled so many fragrances I can't help but connect smells you know and with this one Bleecker Street uh, by Bond number nine I'm not connecting this smell with anything I've ever smelled before so so far it's a very unique scent that is sweet. Like there is a fruity sweetness in here. I'm not sure what kind. Maybe like grapes or... Grapes. I'm kind of thinking of grapes only. <laughs> okay, and other than that... There's a greenness in here for sure, and I know that the bottle is also green. So yeah, I'm getting almost like a grassy, earthy kind of scent in here along with along with a fruity sweetness that's making me think of grapes. So yeah, this is really interesting, very unique. I love the note. I love green fragrances and this is just such an interesting take on it so yeah that's all I'm getting right now now that grass is turning into something more heavy in the base here so maybe there's some musk in here but mostly it's green and fruity and kind of delicious there's this tartness with the uh, the fruits in here that's giving it a little bit of a tang, uh, like a little bit of a kick or a boost. And I like this as well. <laughs> that's really great. I like that. Um, yeah, so let's let's see what the notes are for Bleecker Street. I feel like I'm late to the party with Bleecker Street. It was so, so popular uh, not too long ago, a few years or five years or something. All right, so yeah, the bottle looks very interesting here with this, sh the uh, shape of a star and then green with a lot of like bursting lines coming out of it. And then notes, well, first it was released in 2005. Uh, the nose is David Appel or Apple. Sorry if I'm not saying that right. And then, okay, top notes, violet leaf, blueberry, cassis, and thyme. Ah, uh, okay, so to me it smelled like grapes, but here it's blueberry. Middle notes are cedar, jasmine, and cinnamon, and the base notes are oak moss, suede, patchouli, amber, vanilla, and caramel. Wow, I love those notes. <laughs> when I see caramel, I'm like, ooh, amber, vanilla, cinnamon, blueberry. Mm. So yeah, I really enjoy this, just based on this first impressions. Yeah, that tart grapiness is quite intense in the uh, in the top here. So I'm very curious how this uh, smells on skin. And I'm looking forward to testing that one on skin for sure. So let's do one more. So far we're two for two, which is great. And let's go with this one here. We have a fragrance from Nejma, N-E-J-M-A collection, and this is called Le Delicieux. Le Delicieux au Parfum. Uh, I, I assume that means the delicious. <laughs> so this one I have not ever tried. I don't think I've ever heard of this fragrance. I have heard of this house. They have a collection that's numbered, I believe. 
okay so not not a lot comes out when I spray it so Le Delicieux let's see if this is a delicious fragrance mmm <laughs> it is a delicious fragrance it's sweet boozy and the imagery that I'm getting here is you have like a very soft vanilla sponge cake that is extremely sweet and then you're going to pour maybe some whiskey on top but the whiskey is flavored with like a cotton candy kind of scent so that doesn't exist I'm sure <laughs> but I'm smelling like cotton candy but liquefied and then into some kind of whiskey or bourbon and then pouring that on a um, very soft and fluffy uh, what's it called a sponge cake oh this is really really nice yeah it, def it definitely has some kind of boozy element in here um, it's not like syrupy like honey or anything like that um, but there is a little bit of a thickness in here that's reminding me of a very expensive um, very expensive rare Irish whiskey or something like that and uh, there's a bit of a smokiness in here too so this is very uh, delicious very decadent sweet also quite unique as well I'm just surprised by all of these fragrances this is really nice as well very very happy about that so now I'll just check the notes here. Nejma. Le Delicieux. Okay. So this is what the bottle looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. Just a nice plain white bottle with a gold plaque on the t in the front there. Wow. Is this the right one? <laughs> this is for women. Released in the 2010s. It doesn't have a specific... Um, it doesn't have a specific year and I do kind of want to read this part to you a harmony of floral scents and fresh citrus notes in a light fruity fragrance in a soft combination of sambac jasmine damascena rose white orchid and Italian iris complete with a warm finish of caramel vanilla amber and patchouli for an enticing aroma so the notes in this one are they don't have it listed in, in a pyramid. Uh, floral notes, patchouli, white orchids, citruses, caramel, amber, jasmine, sambac, damask rose, vanilla, and Italian iris. So there aren't any boozy notes in here, but I'm definitely getting something in here that smells quite boozy. There's vanilla, there's caramel, sweet, and I'm thinking that maybe this Italian iris is giving off that little bit of a powdery scent which is making me think of like a soft and fluffy um, cake of some sort I like this a lot this is beautiful Wow I'm just amazed <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly rank these I I honestly like all of them uh, it's hard <laughs> but just based on my you know first impressions my least favorite of these are Bleecker Street although it's fantastic I really like that and then between these two hmm tough I think in second place is the Le Delicieux by Nejma uh, because I don't know <laughs> this one edges it out a lot more because my initial reaction was that just gorgeous powdery vanilla expensive designer handbag kind of you know upscale fancy schmancy kind of perfume that uh, I guess I'm kind of craving because I, I love gourmands of course but I am kind of looking for another leather scent that maybe um, well I like as I said I love my Tuscan leather but I was kind of looking for something a little bit more soft and a little bit more delicate uh, and um, this is definitely that, the Cierge de Lune by Adis de Venustas. So that was my sniffing video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
If you guys have tried these, I'd like to know your opinion in the comments. I'd love to read those comments. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.